course, we are talking about structures and we learned this cool trick of how you could type def a structure. So instead of typing in something like structure box, you can come up with a alias like box. And so you don't have so much typing when you're creating box objects inside of main or another function. So let's look at this program. I'm creating a box object in main and we look at the members. There's three members of every box and that is the length, the width, and the height. So space is allocated on line nine of this code. Um, that's where the space is allocated for three different flows to accommodate the length, the width, and the height. And then I'm giving initial values to each of those members. And then I'm calculating the volume of the box by multiplying those three members together. And we run it and we see that 24 is the volume. A quicker way to initialize all these members of the box, kind of like we would with, um, and now I forget what they originally were, but let's say, two, three, and four, and run it and see if I was right. Yeah, so two, whatever is first in this initialization list will go and be the value of the length, and the second value, three, will be the value of the width, and the four will be the value of the height. All right, so that's a cool way to initialize it. What about if we wanted to pass a box object to a function. Like instead of just hard coding the formula to create calculate the volume of a box, what if we wanted to create a function to do that for us? And this would be a great time to use a function. Well, the function would return the volume, which is a float, because the length, width, and height are all floats. We could name the function get volume. And then instead of passing in some primitives like integers or floats, into this function, we would like to just plain old pass in a box. And there's no reason we can't. And I can pick any variable name I want here. I don't have to pick the same variable name of the object from main. So from within inside this function, I'm talking about box, and I can return. And here's where I would use the formula for multiplying the length times the width times the height, and I will be able to get the same answer when I call this function get volume and pass in that object of type box. I run it and I see my volume hasn't changed. It's still 24. And you might wonder when you're dealing with a function and passing a structure into a function, would you be doing pass by value where you're making a copy? Or could you be doing pass by reference, kind of like with pointers where we were dealing with the actual object itself? Well, we could do a little experiment and figure out whether or not we're able to make permanent changes to the box from main from within the function. So um, I'm gonna make the change or try to make the change by putting my volume in a different variable because I don't really want to change the volume that I'm calculating. But I do want to see, well, can I just change one of these three numbers? So I'm just going to change the length to 500, some kind of noticeable change. And at the end of running this function to get the volume, will I have made a change to that length? Let's take a look and we'll see. So the box length after I've tried to change it to 500 and we run this program and I have not made a change to the length. When we're passing in an object, it's passed by value. We're making a copy of it and we're dealing with a copy of the object here. Um, this is going to make this get volume function a little bit more complicated, but what if we want to do use pointers and pass by reference? So we would do that by passing in the address of the box. Instead of dealing with the actual box and making a copy, we're gonna deal with a pointer to the box, uh, a pointer to that spot in memory where the box is. And now to get the value, if we want to figure out the length, we dereference that box and use the dot operator to get the length. 
we can do that again. And there's actually a shortcut for doing this because it's so common when you're dealing with uh, pointers and po structures and pointers to structures. It's so common to put the star to do reference the pointer and then the dot to talk about the pointer to a member um, that there's a shortcut for that. And that is putting this arrow here. That does the same thing as dereferencing the pointer and then using the dot operator. This is a pointer to a member operator. So it'll do the same thing. We can use that again when we're trying to modify the length and run this program. And now when I calculate my volume, I'm still dealing with the original length and width and height. So I still get 24, but I'm changing the length just to prove that I can make changes to that object inside of this function. And now outside of the function, I print the length and it's now 500 because I was dealing with a pointer instead of an actual uh, copy of that object. All right, that's enough for now, more soon.